In this episode of Sudoku Primer, we find three instances of unique rectangles, which help us solve the puzzle. If you have trouble finding and using unique rectangles, this video will help you. We'll find three different instances, and we'll use them in two different ways. This is Sudoku to Go, Volume 132, Puzzle Number 98. You can also read up on unique rectangles at sudokuprimer.com. Go to the techniques section and look for unique rectangles or the ambiguity rule. If you like these videos, click like and click the red subscribe button. Click on the bell icon to be notified every time a video is published. First of all, I want to point out there's a 1 and a 3 here and a 3 and a 1 here. I'm going to show you a few sets of twins and triplets here right off that we can't solve, but they'll help us later. With these, with 1, 3 and 3, 1 here, we know these are 1, 3 twins. We also have two empty cells here and a 4 and an 8 in row 1, so that makes these four eight twins right here. That leaves three numbers in this box, five, six, and nine. So we have five, six, nine triplets. And with the one three here and a five, six, nine here, we know these are two seven twins. Okay, we can't solve any of those yet, but they're, they're gonna help us in the in the future. We have a seven and a seven here, so we know that is a seven because of the one three twins here. All right. Now we with once we fill in that 7, we have 5 6 twins right here because of the 1 3 twins. So we have 5 6 twins here, 1 3 twins there, and that only leaves two numbers in this box, and those are 4 9. So 1 3 twins, 5 6 twins, 4 9 twins. Right. We also have um, well, because of the five, six twins here, we have ghost fives here, a five there, so one of these is a five. There's a five there, so we know that's a five. We also have five and five there, so we know that is a five. These are real easy, easy numbers to find, so uh, um, I'm just going to fill those in real quick. We also have, and with this five here, we have five, five, a five there. And remember these are five, six, nine, so we can solve the six and nine. There's a six there. Nine, six. All right, now we have a seven and a seven. So that's a seven right there. All right. And we also have a seven here. Seven, seven, seven. All right, now we have a nine and a nine there, so that's a nine. All right, now we're gonna, we've come on our first set of unique rec rectangles here. Uh, here we have six, eight twins. We have a six here. We have five, six twins here, so we have ghost sixes there. So one of these is a six. We have an eight here and an eight here. So we have ghost eights here. And therefore, we have an eight here. So we have six, eight twins. Okay. Now, I'm going to show you um, how to find these two numbers. And the first thing... Um, first step, there are four steps in finding these two numbers. The first thing we find are six, eight twins here. The second thing we notice is we've got a six here, so one of these is a six. We have six and six in this section, so one of these is a six. And using double column elimination, we know one of these is a six. Okay, so that's the second technique. First we found six eight twins, 
Then use double column elimination to find one of these is a 6. All right. uh, the third step in this, finding these two numbers, is we have unique rectangles here. 6, 8 twins and a 6 here. Because we have 6, 8 twins here and a 6 in one of these two cells, we know that an 8 can't fit in either one of these cells, so the 8 has to go right here, here, or here. That's step 3, where we found the 8 can't go here. It goes here, here, or here. Step 4 is we have triplets here now. We have a 1 here and here, so one of these is a 1. We have a 3 here, so one of these is a 3. So we have 1, 3, 8 triplets. The only two numbers left are 6 and 9, so we can fill those in right there. So that took four techniques, a set of twins, unique rectangles, um, or first of all, a set of twins, double call elimina elimination to narrow the 6 down to these two cells, unique rectangles to move the 8 to one of these three, and then 138 triplets to find the 6 and 9 there. Okay, now that we found the 6 and 9, we know the on these 6, 8 twins, we know where they go now. All right, now we have 1, 3, and 8 left here. We, with that 8 we filled in, we know that's an 8. Okay, and there's 1 and 3 left, so we can finish those. All right. Now we've got an 8 here, ghost 8's there, and 8 there, so we know that's an 8. And with that 8, we got 8, 8, 8, so we know this is an 8 here, because of that 8 in box 1 right there. Alright, now let's look at row 6. We've only got 3 numbers left here, 1, 3, 4. 1, 3, and 4. There's a 1, 3 there, so that's a 4. And we've got a 3 there, so that's a 1, that's a 3. Now we have 1, 2, 6, 8. 2, 6, and 8 up here. We have 2 and a 6 there, so we can put an 8 there. And a 6 there, right there, so we can put a 2 there. And we finished those. With this 8, we can solve our four 8 twins we found earlier. And we have an 8 here and here and here. So we have an 8 in box 3 right there. All right. Now, um, <clears throat> remember we have the two 7s here. Um, these are two 7 twins. We also have a 7 here and 7 here and 7 here, so one of these is a 7. Now just like the 6, 8 twins and the 6s we found here, we have two 7 twins here and 7 goes in one of these two. So we know, using unique rectangles, we can't put a 2 here or here. We have a 2 here already, so the 2 has to go in one of these two locations. And having ghost 2's there means that's a 2. And then we can fill in the 7. And that means uh, this is a 7 also. Well, we also have um, only one num number left in that column, but we know that's a 7 now. Right. So... Um, <coughs> That was our second set of unique rectangles. Two seven twins there, and seven went in one of these two. That forced the two to one of these two cells. And so we found the two sevens. All right, now we're missing one, two, and four in box eight. There's a one and a four there, so that's a two. That makes that a one with that four and the four there. Now we have 4, 4, so that's a 4 right there.
All right, now, we only have one number left in box, in this row here, in box seven, two, three, four, that's a nine, okay? So we can fill that in right there. Now what do we have left? We have a one, two, and three. All right, we know, and this is our third instance of unique rectangles. We know these are one, three twins. We found those right at the beginning. We know these have to be one, three twins too because they're the only two numbers left in column one. Now this unique rectangle is a little bit different. It's a different type of unique rectangle. We have twins here and twins here. And because we have twins here and twins here, twins here and twins here, we know that can't be a one or a three. And the reason we know that is because of this, these unique rectangles. So we know that is a two and the one three twins go this way. So we know that's a two. There's a one there, so we can three, one, three, one. We can fill in those, the twins there that we found. Okay, and the one three there. Now we got a three here and a three here. One of these is a three. And we got two and four left here, which we can solve. All right, remember what we have here, five and six and four and nine. We can solve the four nines with that four there. We can't solve the five, six yet. All right, now let's see what we got here. We got, remember our, our twos here. We couldn't have a two there, we determined. So that's a two right there. We also have two, two, and two there now. All right, now we're only missing two numbers in row seven here, a three and a nine. So we can solve those. That leaves a six right here. All right, and uh, we only got one number left there, three, four, two, three, four, two, one, eight, five, one, eight. So that's a five. All right, that solves our five sixes here. And six and nine are the only numbers left here, so we can finish those easily, and we're done. Okay, so using unique rectangles, in this case we had three different instances, the 8, 6 here, and 6 is here, the 2, 7 here, and 7 is here, and we, those are the same type of unique rectangle. Uh, what they did was they forced in this case, they forced the 8 to one of these three cells right here. And in this case, um, we had two 7 twins and 7s here, so it forced the 2 to one of these two cells. Okay, then our third, third instance of unique rectangles was right here. We had one 3 twins here and one 3 twins here. And that made it so this cell could not be a 1 or a 3. So that helped us find the 2 there. So, and the one three twins were this way. So, uh, very useful, powerful technique. Um, I hope that helped you understand it better. And uh, thank you for watching.